I had a great life. I never, I never had a moment's sadness, really, inside me. I've been many a setback. Now, a setback is a thing that can make you sad, but it all depends on the person. I've lost thousands of pounds. I loaned 3,500 pounds to the man, gentleman's agreement. He never gave it back. My wife loaned money, never got it back. But we never worried as long as our health kept. What do you remember of your very first fight? The very first fight, I was taken out of a, of a, of a line of men. I was going in to see a fight in the boxing arena. And the gentleman asked me to come in and sing. When he got me inside, he took me through the dressing rooms, and there was a little boy all dressed up. He had lovely shiny hair and everything. And the matchmaker said, do you think you could fight that boy? And I said, yes. So they put the two of us into the ring. But before they put me in the ring, they had trouble finding pants. And they got a big, long pair of bloomers. I would say they were blue. And they were so long, they were coming down below my knees. So we pulled them away up and put a tie right around the waist and tied it up. I went up to the ring. We fought for three one-minute rounds. And the boy I fought was a lad called Pimple McKee. The fight was a draw. We never hit each other. We just jumped around the ring. And when the fight was over, he said, can you sing? And I said, yes. And I sang a song called Sally. That was Gracie Fields' song. And after that, I sung Irish Eyes Are Smiling. And then I got paid. There was money thrown into the ring. And we were all delighted at seeing the money. So I get some money, goes round to Mum, and says, Mum, look. My mother looked at the money, and she said, where did you steal the money from? Where did your father hear that? And as, my, as she said that, my father came up the, the hallway, and he says, what do you mean? What, 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 what? John got money. He said he was fighting around the corner. And he says, oh, what? And he hit me a smash. Knocked me in the corner. And I had to kick me round to the ear, round to the ILP hall. So he took me in and he said, are you the boxing promoter, Mr. Gilmore? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Mr. Monopoly, is that your boy? Yes. Very good. He was fighting here tonight, and he was singing as well. I said to father, well, I told you, didn't I? I didn't get saying the rest. He just hit me another. Tommy Stewart, Belfast lad, I fought him three times. But I broke my hand in the first round in the King's Hall. And I had to fight the whole fight with a jagging pen coming up to the elbow. I beat Tommy in points. Then I fought him again, but I busted the thumb this time with Tommy. I still won in points. But it's the only fight that I really had pain in. I never had pain in any of the other fights. Never. You had a lot of trouble with your hands, had you? Oh, all this hand. I pickled it. I tried to get a new hand, but it was impossible. I pickled it. And it just kept strong. It never annoys me now. I feel fine with it. You trained very hard, did you? Morning, noon, and night. I give up working. I, when I took up professional, well, I was always professional. So I went up to Cave Hill in the mornings. I came down the docks where I am now in the afternoon. I went up to the gym in the evening. I kept training all the time. What would you say was the biggest hiding you ever gave a boxer? Oh, the biggest hiding I ever gave a boxer was in London, the Olympia. And it was against a very, very, very nice lad, Emil Famishin. He's a brother of Ray Famishin. And uh, he took everything I gave him. From the first round, he was down for a count of nine. And from the first round on up, he took everything. I cut his eyes, I cut his nose, his lips, I busted his cauliflower ear, and it was just like a punch bag. He took everything, I won the fight, and something there, I think, that's lacking in refereeing. I think the referee should have stopped that fight earlier on and saved him a lot of abuse. 
but he never fought again after. I'm a happy, good lucky guy. When I'm in company, uh, I like to see the people happy, and if I'm singing and entertaining, I think I'm making them feel happy. And if they're happy, I'm happy. I lost all my money. Any money I made, I made 20 odd thousand pounds, but it all went away through being too generous and income tax. But I'm still happy. My health's good. I did have an injury in 1963. It does come back on me now and again. My, the bottom of my back was injured. But it's still coming. I'm all right. I feel fine. I'm able to work. Definitely able to work. And I can help some of the boys today that's coming up. I have great knowledge of boxing here. Very fresh. Well, now, these days, Rinty, do you find it easy to get work? Well, in a way, yes. It's not too bad, really. But I did love working. I loved driving trucks. I used to drive to Waterford on a big Lyland Super, 20 ton of waste paper going to the National Board in Waterford. And I used to sing on the way. And uh, it sort of slackened off. And they took the lorries off the run. Well, I came back here to Belfast, and I'm working on a good firm here in Belfast, but my back was coming against me, and I was doing heavy work, heavy lifting, and it was getting me down, so I had to give it up. Actually, I'm on the insurance at the moment. Because of that, my back has been very sore. But I love working. Well, now, you retired from boxing undefeated. Did you ever think of coming back? One time, yes. I did. One time I thought of coming back because it was a necessity. My little girl, Colette, she was two and a half years old. She was stricken down with polio. My funds were very low. The tax and all the friends that didn't pay me back didn't come with the money and I wanted some money. So I told my manager I would try and make a comeback. I trained very hard for two months. And I was feeling very fit and rode away to London. First, I rode here to the boxing board, and they turned me down. And I rode to London, and London turned, it, turned me down. So I had to hit that on the head. I couldn't make, and I was feeling fine. Even, I feel good now. <laughs> but I couldn't get the license back. Your second love, I suppose, is entertainment. Oh, love it. I love singing, dancing, and I do, I do have a, an act at the moment. I have a guitar player, we do country and western style, yodeling, tap dancing, impressions of Popeye the Sailor Man, and lots of things just to keep the people all well entertained. And at 51 today, for a man who gave up boxing for health reasons, you look a very healthy 51. Yes, I feel, I feel like 31. I feel smashing. Bouncing now, lovely. I got through a left tooth just as quick as Rocky can. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world seems bright and gay. And when Irish eyes are smiling, sure they steal your heart away. 